study, we're going to take a look at the Schultz choke or the Schultz front headlock position. It's a strong front headlock control that can lead to inadvertent tap outs or submissions in wrestling, so of course it's perfect to apply to MMA, Jiu Jitsu or grappling scenarios. Within wrestling, the position itself could just be seen as strong front headlock control that has the added benefit of putting a lot of pressure on the opponent and making them give up go-behinds, breakdowns and potential pins. But while applying this technique in wrestling, it can actually put so much pressure on the opponent that they'll go unconscious first, allowing you to get the rollovers and pins. This is something that Dave Schultz reportedly did countless times, and Dave Schultz is where the Schultz choke and Schultz front headlock gets its name. Dave and his brother Mark are the subjects of the film and documentary Foxcatcher, and were notorious for their brutal wrestling workouts. The Schultz choke is set up from the front headlock position with a gable grip, keeping the chin strap hand palm down and the outside hand palm up, while retracting your elbow into the opponent's tricep. Keep pressure on their head with your own shoulder, and then start to rotate the gable grip towards the ear of the opponent, which keeps your elbow high and rotates your forearm along their carotid artery. You then put your head behind the opponent's trapped arm and armpit, and circle towards that armpit, and drive down into the mat. And as you're making that rotation, as well as choking the opponent unconscious, you can use it to set up other entries into cradles or even leg attacks. Now the choke from the position itself is often put on when the wrestler resists turning over, but if they do turn over, then you can see the choking pressure is similar to that of an anaconda choke. The anaconda choke itself can then be a good setup to transition to if you first start attacking with the Schultz front headlock. The most famous use of it in the UFC is in Matt Hughes vs Ricardo Almeida, which led some people to call it the Pharmaconda for a while. After stunning Ricardo Almeida on the feet, Matt Hughes locks up the Schultz front headlock on the ground. And with Almeida still stunned from strikes, Hughes was able to put him unconscious. Another use of it in the UFC was by Alexander Yakolev who against De Silva locks up the Schultz front headlock position and then with the cage in the way and De Silva unable to turn to relieve pressure, Yakolov was able to get the submission victory. So if they don't pin themselves, they get Schultz choked and if they do, you can transition into the Anaconda or other positions. I hope you enjoyed this breakdown. You can check out my others on the front headlock position. Please subscribe to the channel and comment down below what you'd like to see more of.